Let's do that. It's where WGN's Jenna Barnes sat down today with the head of CPS. Jenna? Ray and Micah, CPS CEO Janice Jackson says this first week back in class for some students has made her even more confident in the CPS plan. But at the same time, some teachers are ramping up their protest. Show me your scary. As the first students close out their first week back in CPS classrooms, Mr. P, the principal at Jordan Community School in Rogers Park, says it's going well here. I feel more confident and a lot safer than I did at the beginning of, the, of this whole situation. We met with him inside one of the school's two care rooms where students showing COVID symptoms can wait for their parents. He says they haven't had to use it yet, and this school hasn't had any cases either. We've planned for every scenario. CPS CEO Janice Jackson says so far, reopening is going according to plan. Right now, we've only had to quarantine um, class, a couple of classrooms, pods, but we haven't seen a cluster or a situation where we've had to close down the school. If we get to that point, we will absolutely do that. But some CPS teachers are resisting going back to class, saying that plan still isn't safe. What level of outbreak requires a school to be closed? CPS hasn't said that. This group of teachers is protesting being locked out of their online classrooms and docked pay for not reporting back to class. I want to teach them remotely, safely from my home. I don't want to fire teachers. I don't want teachers to be locked out. The teachers took their protest outside school board members' homes. Others are sharing their safety concerns online. With one little HEPA filter in our school right now, we have 10, 10 for the entire school. Jackson says CPS provided the PPE and resources promised for this first week. We're here to compromise. We just have to have the conversation at the bargaining table, not on social media not in the street. She says for compromise to work, CPS and teachers need to be united in the shared goal of getting kids in the classroom as more grade levels are scheduled to come back next month. I can tell the parents that um, if your child is in this building, your child will be safe. We've asked CPS for a full breakdown of COVID cases and the schools impacted this week. We haven't received it yet, but we'll let you know as soon as we do. We're live in Rogers Park, Jenna Barnes, WGN News.